Welcome to RPPC Inc. This is the latest in our video tutorials on YouTube. We are a group of consultants that specialize with QuickBooks, not only helping you set it up, but also learning how to use it most effectively, as well as learning how to use the financial information that you get from it to manage your business most effectively. So if you have any questions about this video or any of our other videos on YouTube, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email and we would be happy to work with you one on one. I'm going to show you a great feature in QuickBooks Enterprise. This is really one of my most favorite things about the enterprise is that you can be able to combine multiple companies reports. So for example, say you have a holding company that has multiple companies, be it two, be it however many, that you of course have them each set up as a separate QuickBooks file. But when it comes time, month in, quarter and year end, whatever it may be, and you want consolidated financials, if you're doing it the old fashioned way where you're having to export everything to Excel and then be able to combine multiple tabs and it's just really a lot of manual work, you are going to love, love, love this feature. So what you will do is go up to reports, go down to combine multiple reports from multiple companies. So it's going to combine the reports from the company you are currently in. Select Add Files. Select what other company or companies you want to use. Pick whatever reports you want to create. The date selection, if you want them to be accrual or cash. Select to combine reports in Excel. And it will take a moment. It depends again how much data you're pulling in. You know what's what's the date range, what's the um, file size. You know maybe a few seconds to multiple minutes. But let me tell you, it, regardless, it will be much faster than doing it manual. So as you're going through. The key to remember here are a couple of things. One is you have to have permissions to be able to pull these reports from all of those company files. So you need to have login information, passwords, etc. As well as understanding that the more streamlined you can be in the way that you set up chart of accounts when you have multiple companies, the cleaner your reports will be when you export them to Excel. So here we go. Here's a couple of sample companies. And what you're seeing here, this is just kind of a, a rough one. But you see company A, company B. So again, there may be nothing in those particular ones for that time period. You can see income and expense for those, and then it gives you the subtotal. So the really nice thing is, the more streamlined you can be, you're not going to have all these extra lines on it. And if for a particular period of time, a company doesn't have information, like this one, because it's going into the future, the nice thing about it is that when you pull those consolidated reports, you can be able to see, okay, for that time period, maybe we didn't have this company, or maybe, you know, there was nothing, no activity. You're still going to see that it's going to pull in, so people don't have to question it. But if there is activity, you're going to see data in the appropriate fields. So just remember to streamline your chart of accounts, and this feature you will find so easy to use, and it's so nice to have and makes it easy to have consolidated financials and just a few keystrokes that you will really come to appreciate and love that feature. So I hope you found this useful and if you have any particular questions feel free to email us at info at rppc.net.